2, Ryan trained over 12,000 Air Corps cadets. Training was rigorous, and pre-flight was demanding. They were all very healthy, mentally. Well, this is where they got their start. They reached the peak of their proficiency at about this time. now why we had to wait at least one full generation before sending a man to the moon. In 1962, our advanced engineering group conned management into thinking that the Flexwing was the vehicle of the future. One of the more saleable features of, the, of this bird was the ease with which it could be assembled. Anyone with a 10-ton crane and 60 helpers could have it ready to fly in a week's time under no wind conditions. Them Ryan types has got to be nuts. They didn't teach me this at the academy. Orville Wright was our project engineer and Leonardo da Vinci was our design chief on this project. The Ryan Flexwing was the only airplane built that guaranteed 30,000 miles to a set of tires. It was recognized throughout the industry that Project Pterodactyl set aviation back 50 years. pilot just got word over the radio that the Flexwing contract was canceled.
It's designed, Major, so that any Marine can pick it up and backpack it. Who, me? Take the damn thing away from him before he breaks it. As a result of his good work on the drone, the project engineer was allowed to test hop our first parrowing parachute. Hey, how about a rigid rotor? How about a toad glider? So here we are with the troops' private booze supply aboard. Our test pilots really love that airplane. The Army calls for a missile to kill the fire bee. And this is what happens when one section of engineering works on thrust and the other section works on guidance. At McGregor Base, they claim a high number of flights per target. But with missiles like this, who can lose? Boy, that fire bee is an elusive target. Missile away. Missile away. Let's try again. kept a full staff of professional undertakers, mourners, and rock kickers on the payroll.
At Tyndall Air Force Base, Ryan has established an outstanding crew. The leisure and relaxed atmosphere depicted here is a result of their ability to turn a bird around faster than any other base in the world. However, with their proximity to Cuba, they do have their little problems. In 1965, Ryan developed airborne earth drilling equipment. I think the elevator should be up, no down. Get your hand off there, up, down. No, up, down, down, up. I told you so. Sheesh. I hear a fearless fighter pilot rushes to an alert. nothing throughout the history of our developmental work. Our engineering department has learned very well how to bury their mistakes. <laughs> <laughs>